Here's how to use Word Tracker. Assuming that you've bought an account and logged in, then you go, get to this page and you go to Keyword Universe. And just to show you how it works, I'm going to pick a nice general category called How To. And you hit the Proceed button. And wait just a little while. It says ETA, roughly 60 seconds. There it went. And click on How To. Now you'll notice shortly thereafter, it populates the right-hand side. And you've got all kinds of stuff on How To. So click there to add all the keywords to your basket. Now you go down and look for exactly the kind of thing that you might be interested in and you can do something called a dig. So if I scroll down and uh, find out, let's see, how to read guitar tabs, how to tie a tie, how to draw, people want to know how to hack Facebook accounts, um, how to is a rather broad category as I said but you might find something that you know how to do perfectly in this how to list and you could build a business out of it but right off the bat uh, I would go to just so you know step three we have 300 words in our basket and I'll do a competition search. Now that I'm doing a competition search, I will select Google. See, I've got one through 100 up here. I select Google for my competition search, and I proceed. And it takes a little while to operate. I've made a selection, I'm proceeding and right now it's going through the database on the word tracker server and it's about to turn me my results there we go and what do we find we find a KEI analysis now what I do immediately is I highlight that whole thing top to bottom copy it and put it in my Excel workbook. Now, interesting fact, oh, let's see, let's widen this. Interesting fact is when you uh, are used to working in Excel and you use Internet Explorer, it'll drop right in and figure out where to place the lines. Now I'm going to go back to Word Tracker and do the next layer instead of 1 to 100 now it's 101 to 200 again I will select Google and proceed and we get to wait for a moment and almost there There we go. Now the first time I selected the headers along with it, this next time I'm simply going to be adding to the bottom. So I go from here. And I highlight it all the way down. You can also export the results or email the results or view all my results. But I like putting into spreadsheet. So I copy it into my workbook. I scroll down. Go to the last entry and now I go for that third layer out of 300 when I'm doing this uh, for a client and I want to really dig down deep to find out what all the best keywords are I'll do as many as 2000 instead of uh, simply 300 and then I'm proceeding and we wait
and I may do 2,000 on a particular word. Um, it's good not to get too narrow in the beginning. Don't toss out your results in the very beginning. Okay, there we are. Third row of how-tos. Copy it into Excel. Now what I do at this point is I sort all my entries up to the top by highlighting to there. Data. Sort. And I like to sort on column C. Descending with no header row because I left the header row blank at the top. Hit OK and I scroll up. And what I discover is this set of keywords that are effective. I can figure everything down to mm, maybe 100 is going to be spectacular and maybe even down to 50 will be okay. So now we find also the count, that's how many people actually were searching for something. Now notice this, the count against the competing. So this has a very high KEI number, Keyword Effectiveness Index, because uh, you've got 123,000 here. How do you get that number? It's the count against the competing. There's actually a formula applied. In other words, nobody is responding, no sites are responding to how to search Oklahoma's criminal database. No sites responding. Now here, how to build a petting zoo, we see this has a keyword effectiveness as 43,923. That's because 363 people have been looking for this and only three sites are responding. So this would be a very good option for internet success. Now the 24 hour count is kind of a guess about how many people over a 24 hour period would be searching for that particular term. So one of the things I do is I look at the total keyword effectiveness number. I also look at the 24 hour count because we can find some artifacts here. We can find uh, down lower, we'll find maybe uh, say seven people have been searching for something uh, in a 24 hour period. If that's what's going on, I disregard it because that might be one person searching seven times. But all of these how-to's are very stellar. Even here, how to check out a hoax is good because you have a ridiculous number of people searching for it against, even though you've got a fairly high number of sites responding to it, you still stand a pretty good chance if you know how to optimize your pages of being able to rank for it. So that's the basic idea of Word Tracker and uh, now you can figure out how to plug it into your uh, website ideas.